I understand that you're not very keen on um, on us having a nice summer this year. Uh, of course, uh, that's a very strange way of phrasing it. I would love us to have a nice summer, but a nice summer does not mean extreme weather going over 40 degrees, unprecedented in British history. It's a warning sign for Britain and anybody patriotic who cares about the country should listen to the warnings and take action now. What, what is your solution to all of this then? Well, the solution is, is to, we need to move on from the old legacy fossil fuels. Um, we have new energy, it, it's renewables, it is cheaper, it is, um, it is cleaner, and it is actually better for consumers in the UK. Today, 58% of our electricity came from renewables, and that means cheaper bills in future for UK consumers because fossil fuel electricity is around two hundred pounds per megawatt. Renewables is around fifty. That of course, that of course megawatt. includes the British government subsidy and the additional carbon no, no, taxes no, 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 that no, are put no. on to uh, put no, no, on to no. fossil fuels. Oh, sorry, you're you're actually uh, outdated. The the renewable energy legacy is from renewable energy that was commissioned ten to fifteen years ago. Renewable energy now being commissioned is coming in cheaper than anything else on the market. It is forty pounds to fifty pounds per megawatt. Fossil fuels is two hundred pounds per should megawatt. We, should this we, is good uh, for consumers. Just a, just a matter of interest. I mean, look. I mean, I'm all up for windmills. I think they're absolutely fabulous. I'm, I've, I've been to the Netherlands multiple times. But should we be? Should we be Luddites on this issue? Everybody knows that fossil fuels are going to disappear relatively quickly, but the question is whether we want to build new technologies, including nuclear, or whether we want to be Greta Thunberg Luddites and, and, and push back against economic development. Lest, lest we forget, Greta Thunberg said that we must end this belief that there can be perpetual economic growth. Easy for her to say on a £5 million yacht, more difficult if you're a subsistence farmer in Nigeria. So are we are we going to be against new technologies such as nuclear? I, I don't understand why you're referring to a, a nearly 100-year-old technology as new and referring to new technology, which is um, a modern renewable solar I and think, wind. I think the reason I'm doing it, the reason I'm doing it, the reason I'm doing it, the reason I'm doing it is very simple. The reason I'm doing it is very simple. It's, it's because, it's because we have now discovered, we've now discovered that all matter is energy. It's just a matter of how dense it is. That's the reality of what they're working on in places like CERN. That's the reality of what they're working on across the nuclear establishment across the world. And, and for me, the simple answer, the fact that I can take one kilogram of seawater and turn it into enough energy energy to power a city in 10 years time is not an argument to decide to move away from all of that investment away from all of those new ideas away from all of that future and start running windmills because it keeps a rather disturbed young lady from Sweden happy <laughs> you I love your paraphrasing of the of the of the reality you're talking about nuclear as being new when it's actually 100 years old. And if you're talking about fusion energy, they've been promising free energy from fusion for 100 years. And they're they've still not, they've not, no, 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 sorry, that's, that's, a, no, that's a lie, that's single, a lie. They've not been promising, they've not been promising. They've not been promising, but they haven't. They haven't been promising. They haven't been promising free energy from, first of all, who are they? But from secondly, fusion. they have, fusion they, they, they quote unquote, have not been promising free energy from fusion for 100 years. There has been a development of the technology but hang on a second you're calling me old-fashioned you you think we should use windmills and bear in mind the one thing that is dishonest about people like you is that you never come on these programs and admit that for every wind turbine you need a gas turbine and the reason that we do not have energy independence is because we're importing that gas from dodgy regimes around the world because we're refusing to frack there's uh, the dishonesty sorry, we're, our, my, I, I, I struggle, Andrew, to keep up with your creativity. It's coming out at five miles and hundred miles per hour. It's, it's hilarious. Let's say, let's let's look at gas and 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 renewables. Renewables today produce fifty eight percent of our energy at a fraction of the cost of nuclear and fossil fuels. Anybody who's advocating nuclear and fossil fuels is doing a disservice to consumers, and they're putting levies on their bills that consumers will have to pay for so just, another. So just a years. matter of interest. Just a matter of interest, Donica. If all these technologies are so fantastic, why are the reports today, I think in your newspaper, that there will be blackouts this winter? Uh, the, the, my understanding is that what we're talking about there 
is actually a, a shortage of gas across Europe. Well, but, that but, is, uh, but that's part and, of the and, problem, isn't it? Part of the problem of the, uh, no, the, the, problem the green is technologies. We, because of the green technologies, we're heavily no, reliant on it's gas. A completely, it's a complete twisting of the facts. It's not it's twisting of the facts. It's not too it's, 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 No, no, no. no I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're just going to make this really easy. Let's make this really easy. Let's just make this really easy. The fact we have... Does a wind turbine... Does a wind turbine... Does a wind turbine... Cut him off. 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 Let me speak for a minute. Does a wind turbine... Does a wind turbine require a gas turbine to back it up for when the wind drops just a yes or no, no answer simple I, I can show you something here but don't 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 get out your stuff can you see this it's what well, you can't it's, it says zero at the moment my, my my house is powered by renewable energy at night time not because I, there's a gas power station running it's because i have energy storage Energy storage plus renewables equals cheaper bills for home consumers and the future for Britain. There is a remarkable, though, dishonesty. There is a remarkable dishonesty about this whole issue of batteries. So I've heard a number of suggestions. A battery in every home, which I don't believe is realistic. Then the global grid, which I think is utter bunkum. The other option, which is the option they realistically go for, is to back up renewable technologies with gas. And that has left us reliant on no, Russian we, gas. That's we, the reality. The reality We're not is, dependent on Russian gas. Of we are actually we are. 90, ninety-five percent of UK gas comes from two sources: one from the North Sea, our own gas, and second from Norway. Those are the ninety-five percent so, of so, our gas. So, five, so, you, so you think? So you, so you think? You think five percent? You think receiving five percent of our gas from Russia, given that there's currently a war going on, is a good situation? But look, of course, why, no, when, no, when, please, when, when, no, you can't when do one that. Of you, when it is one unfair. When you, one you can't. Of you to, you get, when is you one of you? Put words when in is my one of you? When is one? I'll just keep talking. When is one of you? When is one of you? When is one of you going to come on these programs? When is one of these programs? You are a liar. When one these programs you called me a liar let me people. let me actually let me let me correct it you said i was happy for gas to come from russia why did you say that when you know it's not true the reality is why did you, you say well, that you you didn't ask my, why did you my question you didn't that? answer my question didn't why ask did my you question. accuse me of being happy to import gas from, from russia why did you say that why would you say that when you know it's not true andrew this is really tragic because it's for britain's future that we're talking Britain's about. Future. We, want we are bills. talking about having blackouts in a no, country in the about, first world. Your newspaper you was it? I think it was the Independent. You today. were talking about putting more expense. Almost every energy you're advocating is more expensive than the ones I'm advocating. Why are you doing that? Nuclear is twice as expensive, and fossil fuels. The reason, the reason I'm doing it. Okay, let me answer. The reason I'm doing it is for every single wind turbine, you need a gas turbine to back it up. And I believe that that is a significant danger to our energy security. And that is the reason why there will be a blackout this winter, if indeed there is a blackout. That's so, just a fact. No, no, the, the extraordinary uh, position that you're saying is if we actually can provide 50 to 60 percent of our energy from renewables, and we have occasionally, maybe for two or three weeks in the middle of winter, have to use some gas. Oh, sorry, was that an admission? And, and so you're arguing that we should therefore be 100%. Hang on, sorry, hang on a second, hang on a second. Was that, was that, was that, was that, was that, was that, was that you just, I don't know, sorry. So I think I just heard that. I think I just heard you admit, I think I just heard you admit that you do need, um, that you do need gas turbines to back up wind turbines. Did we just we admit that? Because that'd no. be a step forward in my view. Then we can have a more sensible debate. No, we, cur we currently have a system where, for the last 10 years, we provided some backup by gas. What, uh, what, we, uh, what we should have been doing is actually what we've advocated for the last 20 years, is renewables plus storage and storage backup. If we'd invested in that, we would not be involved. I don't understand why people like you want us to remain addicted to fossil fuels. No, for 50 years, we've seen what it's done. Boom and bust and tragedy well, for what consumers. About I mean, what, what? Why did you not listen to the message? Well, what, 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 what amazes me? What amazes me is that people like you were obsessed with reducing carbon. We moved in the cities from uh, from petrol to diesel. We may have saved the polar bears, but we gassed children with asthma in city centres and caused a huge amount of public health problems. Look, the, the, look, the reality is, you, this, you know, you, you and your readers uh, make yourselves feel good with all this stuff. Everybody knows that fossil fuels are going to disappear. The question is whether we go down the irresponsible route that you want to go down of not developing the new technologies that will replace them and instead just <laughs> obsessing over wind turbines. Obsessing over wind, wind turbines. I mean, a hundred-year-old hundred technology. You're, really, you're, you're really talking about, you're talking about a windmill.
You're talking I've about never seen windmill. anybody. You're I'll talking let, about uh, windmills in Holland produce about a windmill. physical, windmills in Holland produce physical uh, energy. Uh, modern uh, wind turbines produce electricity, whereas actually you were talking about hundred-year-old technologies such as fo legacy fossil fuels and nuclear. And I don't understand why somebody like you insists on keeping us addicted to the oil barons and insists on consumers having more expensive bills. It's bizarre. It's unpatriotic and it's destructive. Uh, well, okay. Well, look, we, we'll, keep, we can, we'll, we'll, we'll keep. We'll, we'll keep. We'll keep. Put that back. We'll, we'll keep yeah, you on your good. gas. We'll keep you on your gas. Anyway, renewable, anyway, renewable uh, electricity anyway. is British and it's good. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Donica <laughs> McCarthy, thank you so much. Look, you know what? Uh, people have had a go at me over that interview because I think I got a little bit heated. Unfortunately, it drives me bananas. I'll tell you the reason. The reason is that I used to work for the Member of Parliament for Morgan, right, and much. when I saw the ability that we had to produce energy locally within the United Kingdom, I was absolutely <laughs> stunned. The idea of fracking in Boland, the idea of a third nuclear power station at Heacham, the idea of offshore uh, gas in the Irish Sea, the idea of um, even the wind turbines of the Irish Sea. And then, of course, what we've done is we put all of this money into the green technologies that really have taken us the wrong way um, on all of these issues. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something. The idea that we would ignore these great steps forward in nuclear in order to obsess about what uh, Greta Thunberg has got to say, how dare you, how dare you. I mean, that girl is just, you know, she, she never went to school. She has a serious problem. Uh, but anyway, apparently Diane says, stop barking at the guests. It's boring and you're doing it constantly. I'm so sorry. Let other people speak without interrupting. Donica, I apologise to you. But anyway, you should be apologising to the world about the way that you are destroying our energy future. Anyway, uh, Mr Walker, the Dave says, Mr Walker, uh, you are the best. That climate columnist is a total not job. Well done. You dealt with him and you were brilliant. He had no answer to your questions. Keep up the great work, Mr Walker. Well, let, let me say... Let me say to you, I just want to know, does a wind turbine need a gas turbine to back it up? The answer is yes. Ian is in Liverpool. Ian, you're on Talk TV. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, uh, I think the only way forward is uh, nuclear power. So do I. I mean, we've we've done so well in terms of technology. By the way, Donica's right. We have had a problem in terms of bringing fusion online um, rather than fission. But um, yeah. we've we, we it will come online. I believe in the fullness of time we will get there. But this, uh, this, these small scale uh, uh, power stations, which uh, Rolls Royce are trying to uh, put out. And the actual radioactivity involved in that, if it ever got to uh, a situation such as Chernobyl, it would automatically switch down. Yeah. Do you, do you know something, Ian? Most of us actually have a thermoelectric generator that's nuclear powered in our homes already. Do you know when your, mm -hmm. um, when your smoke detector uh, runs out of batteries but bleeps anyway and continues to work? The reason yeah. is the battery has been completely run down and it's now moved to a power source, which is americium-241, a, a waste nuclear isotope produced at Sellafield. And what happens is, as americium-241 turns to lead, it produces a small amount of heat and that heat is used for a thermoelectric generator so when we're talking about nuclear power when your battery runs out your um, your smoke alarm is nuclear powered already which i think is an extraordinary <laughs> thought i did not know that there you go you you learn something new every day. Let me just read yep. this tweet. Great show, Andre. If every house has a battery big enough to hold energy for the household, surely if there's a fire in a single house, it poses a huge risk to the rest of the streets. Gas can be turned off. A huge battery cannot be moved when it's on fire. That's Graham in Nottingham. Look, the other thing is... As we all know, the biggest uh, battery in the UK is actually a large lake in Wales where what they do is they pump the water to the top of the hill and then they let it down, pump it at night when they've got surplus energy and then bring it down during Coronation Street. Anyway, I think we're going to be talking to Phil in Fairham straight after this. <laughs> 